today's Health Connection, wearable technology tracks our steps, tracks our sleep, and now it can even track a woman's best chances of getting pregnant. More couples are using fertility trackers to try and conceive. The wearables claim to take the guesswork out of ovulation, but does it work? We ask the specialists. Every night, Alyssa Fox puts on her ovulation bracelet right before it slides out. You just have to put it on, sleep with it, and wake up, and it tells you when you're fertile. Yeah. So it's really, really easy to use. This is my husband, Brian. She's 26 years old, and she's been married for four years. Starting a family seemed like the natural next step. Because everybody always tells you when you're younger, oh, you could get pregnant at any time, or, you know, the second you get off birth control pills, you can get pregnant. Um, and so I was really shocked when that wasn't me. <laughs> she was also shocked that a wearable, much like a Fitbit, could actually help her get pregnant. Meant to be worn while sleeping, it monitors skin temperature, resting pulse rate, breathing rate, heart rate, and sleep. Then charts it all on an app so that Alyssa can see the window when her body is ovulating. When I was doing the ovulation kits, I would have like one or two day windows. So I feel like maybe I might have been missing time. Um, and so. I'm hoping, obviously, for a successful pregnancy out of it. How accurate do you think they are? I mean, I honestly think the accuracy of the LH predictor kit might be better. Plano fertility specialist Dr. Rebecca Shilvers hasn't recommended an ovulation wearable to any of her patients yet. She says the wearables do track variables related to ovulation, but tried and true tracking products like LH predictor kits are still the go to. However, she believes wearable technology will play an essential role as a first step for women struggling to conceive. But I think it's a good place to start if someone's young and doesn't have known fertility issues or known gynecologic problems and they just want to get more in tune with themselves and have some data before they come see me. So I learned I wasn't sleeping as well. I was a lot more stressed out than I thought. Um, my ovulation was a lot different than what I was thinking it was. Um, so it's really taught me a lot about my fertility and also about my lifestyle and how I'm sleeping, which has been really helpful just in overall health. Some insight into our health that Alyssa hopes will put her closer to the baby of her dreams. And the company that makes that bracelet is called the Ava Bracelet. It says that 10,000 babies have been born to mothers using that technology.